Hey y'all, Sarah Answer here, and we're going to do a little drill today to work on some of those net skills, uh, working on some faster hands and some control. Uh, one of the things that I like to do when working on fast hands is being able to say, okay, I'm only hitting backhands or I'm only hitting forehands. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start with backhands, and what I'm going to do is have my partner get parallel with me, and the goal here to kind of start doing this is we're going to line our paddles up. So we're going to do a backhand to backhand, and we're not going to actually try to hit it hard right now. Right now we're going to just do catch and push, catch and push, and uh, a couple of goals here is I'm going to try to keep my elbow down and kind of keep my weight in a forward position, and what we're doing on this is kind of keeping a slightly open paddle face, so I'm using my grip to do that, so here's my maneuverability, uh, I'm really trying to use my fingers to grip the paddle, I don't want a death grip, so I don't want to feel tension in my arm as I'm hitting this ball, so my partner and I are going to just really try to keep our paddle face in line with each other, okay, so we're going to really minimize that motion, that swinging, okay, so we're not wrist it we're just kind of push 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 okay so we're gonna start this out okay and almost and and here's the biggest trick when we're doing this we want the tip of the paddle upward not downward or sideways okay so that's gonna create a lifting motion so where your elbow is is key so if my elbow is up here hey okay, I'm not gonna be able to hit multiple shots in a row so this is really a full like shoulder sometimes you can kind of think of rowing a little bit like it's getting that motion in your shoulders are working but you're using that body okay so it's really minimal almost we don't want a downward motion we want an upward motion okay almost a little flicky with the wrist so we're going to try to minimize that and see how I'm not like reaching for it okay because that's not going to help me right now I really want to work on the push of my volley okay so as we get better at it then yes we'll accelerate the ball but right now we're letting the ball come into our bodies okay and if I'm going to go down I'm still keeping my hand up and see what I'm actually doing I'm keeping my hand on my heart this is a really good way to stabilize the body okay and you can even think one two three one, two, three, one, okay? And so what we're really looking at, if that ball starts to shoot off and go all sorts of crazy directions, we are going to let the ball go, catch it, and restart. Because what that's telling us is now my paddle's finishing this direction. So we're really working on this forward paddle control. Okay, uh, and this is going to minimize that excess motion essentially, but it's really stabilized in the body, very soft, very slow. Okay, so we're really not doing all this extra. I want a still upper body as much as possible. I want my head to be as still as possible as well. So body stillness is key. So keeping your hand on your heart, your left hand will help that motion. Okay. And so right there, see how that ball went that way? So what my partner's paddle did, it did this. Okay, so we're really trying to think of a line of the paddle trying to stay on top of our table. Our table is our net. Okay. So I'm really, as I'm hitting this, even see how my elbow is extending. So I'm not trying to hit it hard. I'm really trying to let the ball come closer to my body so I can control the outcome. Okay. So if I'm out here reaching for that ball, that's going to cause chaos, okay? And I'm not going to be able to hit multiple shots in a row. So when you get in those fast hands volley rallies, you know, we don't really want to stay in that. Like we're trying to react and react. And our goal is uh, one of two things. Either I'm going to try to finish it, okay? And what's going to create that finish is that ability to really extend forward. As long as you're in here, it's not going to happen. And then the secondary, if I can't attack or counterattack, then I want to soften the ball and just get back to a dink rally so I can create some control out of the point. So this is a very hard shot for a lot of people. So this is why I'm not going bang, 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 bang. We're not trying to win the point. If you can, when you're starting this, think of how many balls you can hit, okay? So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you can even see, like, listen to the cadence of my voice. If I'm, like, talking super fast, if I count's going too quickly, it's starting to get out of control. So as you're doing this, it's not about it going as fast as you can. It's about getting this motion first. Then you can get into a faster hand speed ability where you can turn it and do all sorts of crazy stuff. So this is a tough, tough drill. Uh, it's, a, it's all about paddle control and the ability to move the ball and still feel comfortable. So remember a couple of things that we talked about, keeping your elbow down, 
so we're not doing this okay uh, I want to keep kind of that the fingers kind of adjusting the paddle so I'm not super square okay because that'll pop up my elbow I want this kind of down and you see I'm actually making space with my body so when people get like super square like this they tend to manipulate with the elbow so creating this space so you feel comfortable will then create more acceleration then you can do all sorts of fun stuff and create some winners and lobs or whatever but as you're doing this maintain your focus remember it's not about being out of control when you're drilling it's about keeping the rhythm going so as you're breathing and going counting helps that even if you're counting one your partner's counting one two three four that'll actually help you stay calm and stay relaxed so notice as we're doing this I want to think a nice long neck I don't want this kind of like no neck kind of situation really minimal motion keep working on this get as high as you can then make it into point play if you want you can always adjust but beware that we're not going for him back camp we're not doing all this action because that's a reactionary con conscience it's not a conscious choice of I'm hitting backhands and backhands or I'm hitting forehands or forehands. So uh, when you're doing this, it's not about necessarily getting as many balls. It's about how the rhythm that you're creating as you're doing this. So keep working on this. And then you can even take a couple steps back and go a longer distance uh, and keep adjusting your positioning when you're doing this drill.